First of all, uh, let's talk about, uh, you signed a new deal yep. uh, in, the, in the last couple of weeks. Was that hard? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Easiest decision I've had to make um, since I've been down there. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I wasn't really worrying about the contract, but, I'm, you know, I was very happy to sign it. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. Because when you came here, was it, it wasn't. It seemed that the, the, the you signing here was a little bit later than some of the other players that had come on and, and those sorts of things. And we, are you surprised that you've done as well and settled in as well as you have here? Uh, yeah, I was, you know, expecting to come here and really, you know, um, not not get anywhere near as much game time as I have got. And um, you know, it's a very competitive environment, and I'm just happy that I have been given the chance that I've been given. Indeed, and, and, and you look at the side at the moment, second in the Premiership, you play a top-of-the-table clash against your old club, Saris, and it seems that everything's going right at the moment at the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, it's like my, I'm just enjoying everything, I've said that already. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's great to be playing in a team that's winning, you know, most weeks, and it's competitive with every single team in the league, and, you know, one, one's with good, you know, aspirations, and hopefully we'll be, you know, there or thereabouts at the end of the season. If somebody had said to you back in the summer when you joined, uh, come February, you're going to be playing Saracens in a clash between the top two in the Premiership with the opportunity to go top, and you will have got through to the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup and on the way knocked out Claremont of Earn, having beaten them here, would you have asked them to be taken away by the men in white coats? No, no. <laughs> I think, um, you know, like the last few seasons, Exeter have really been forced to be reckoned with. Uh, you know, they've played good rugby for, you know, since they've come up, really. Um, and they've, you know, last year they just missed out on top four, and I think that they're a team that are always going to be dangerous, and, you know, luckily we are this year as well. Let's talk about Saris this week. You've obviously have one of your former clubs, you've done incredibly well on Saris books. Have you been able to help the coaching side here and the players here in any way about, you know, the way that Saris go about their business? I know it's a little while since you were, you were at Saris. Yeah, uh, well, I think, you know, all players will have an input, and... You know, I might have different ideas or different, you know, uh, the way I've been coached might be slightly different from uh, the players here. Um, so, you know, I've kind of given my opinion on certain things and, you know, coaches have kind of used what they want, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. There's a lot of thank you. Shorty, you've talked about it to me in the past about when you were at Saracens and, and the buzz you've got there when they won the title. You're, si you're feeling a similar feeling here, aren't you? You said the, the group is very together and the, everyone's pulling in the same direction. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you've pretty much asked the question for me there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is exactly, I, you know, it's the kind of feel that I get around the club every day. Everyone's, you know, coming together, everyone's got ideas that they're putting together, everyone's training hard, pushing each other. And that is the kind of environment, you know, that you need to be up there at the top of the table competing first place. And this uh, home home factor, you, again, you've talked about it, but uh, as a player, you get a huge buzz out of, of running out here, and it's a big thing on a on a weekend for you guys. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I've said before, but I think um, you know the, the fans and this, the environment here is you know one that all rugby players would like love to play in, and it really does make kind of match days here an enjoyable one, one where you're wanting to perform to your best, one where you're wanting to you know uh, please the crowd. And, you know, I think that really kind of does add to the fact that this is kind of almost a fortress and we haven't lost it in a while. And having spent most of your time around London, coming down here and having a bit of fresh air for a start, but yeah. uh, a different change of lifestyle, has mm -hmm. that helped to improve your game and, and a different outlook on the game? Yeah, I think so. I, I, you know, I really enjoy it down here. The fact that I can just go to Greendale Farm down the road and you know, get a bit of breakfast from a, a little farm cafe or just be in the countryside away from everyone. And just have a bit of time to kind of reset and refresh and think about rugby as opposed to being distracted by other things. And this weekend, you know all about the threats of Saracens. You've been part of their, their unit before. So, um, how do you go about stopping it? It's all well knowing it, but trying to stop it is not easy. Uh, no, I, th I think um, you know some teams have uh, different styles that they kind of you know come up with, um, which they think will best uh, suit playing against Saracens. And obviously. You know the coaches here have beat them last couple. Well, the last couple of times we played them, and uh, I'll just let them kind of, you know, do their thing and just, uh, you know, follow orders. Do you think sides are now looking at the same way with the Chiefs? You know, they know what's coming, but to stop the Chiefs, we're, we're scoring tries, we're, we're causing damage. I think ultimately, if as long as you do what you do well, you do that well every week. Um, you know, it's, you become very difficult to stop, and even if people know what you're going to do, that's why Saracen's been so so successful because everyone knows what they're going to do, but they just do that so well that it's very difficult to stop. And as long as X do the same thing with what they do well, will be a difficult side to stop as well.